you became just like one of the like overnight like sensation at TNA. Yeah, it only took nine years. Yeah, yeah I've been doing that for a while. Yeah. But it, you, it, 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 there has to be something that moves the needle. Sure. Everybody needs something. And for yeah, you, yeah, that yeah. was the Kanye interview, right? Of course. And and more than anything else, um, if you if you weren't prepared for that, and if you weren't having an honest, organic moment, I don't think it would have resonated like it did. Like it, it was interesting because I watched how you were like hurt by. Mm -hmm. Like Kanye said, you know, slavery was a choice, and I yeah. watch how you, because most most people in your position um, would have kind of just shrunk back and let it happen, and you Word. were determined not to. He asked, remember that. So he comes into the uh, to TMZ Live, and that's a conversation that's supposed to happen between him and Harvey and Charles, right. and that's be the way it was supposed to be right. because it's their show, right? And they want to make sure that they hit the appropriate news points, right? right? right. But he's doing his whole thing, and he's right. saying the things that he's saying. And then he turns around. And he asked the room. He said, <laughs> right. "Does it feel like I'm speak? Does it feel like I'm thinking freely right now?" And the answer was no. It didn't feel like he was thinking anything. It didn't feel like he was considering the weight or the impact of his words. It didn't seem like he had thought it out before he got there. It didn't seem like anything was going on upstairs. And so, the the reason why things flowed out of me the way that they did was because it was a very honest answer to a very, very direct question. Right. Yeah. And the question was? The question was, does it, he said, does it feel like I'm thinking freely? So you have a guy come in there and he's saying all of these things and he's representing that in some way impugning the strength or the integrity of our ancestors is demonstrating free thought. Like, or, like where I come from, uh, the the way that you anchor yourself uh, into your humanity is to remember people that sacrificed theirs for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it, it, to come in there and be like, okay, I'm thinking freely. I'm willing to say that maybe our ancestors are weak. Nah, you, that's not that's not that you can't. Yeah, you don't have that cachet. You can't do that. No one has that cachet. Nobody does. He put an asterisk next to slavery, and I resent him for it for this day. And and I'll tell you why. I resent him because he continues to do it. He continues to Even what he said today, we should throw, next time they throw a net on slaves, we shouldn't speak. I think that there is a way that men like that, the reason that you, you, you made the point that he just speaks and, you know, the reason he likes Donald Trump because he does exactly the same thing. Yeah, they're, cats, they're, 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 they're demagogues. They do exactly the same kind of thing. Well, he's admitted to that. He said yeah. that Trump has the same dragon blood mm -hmm. energy or whatever right, that is, right. and he feels like he has it too. So he sees a kindred spirit in him. I think that there is. Were you a journalism major? No. Would you Would you want to do? I was a political science major. Ah. Yeah, creative writing. Uh, and how'd you get to TMZ? I was a tour guide. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> well, yeah, Jurassic Park. Right. Right. He shot Kennedy. Right. Yeah, yeah, Everybody got guy. their path. No, right. listen, listen though. The TMZ tour, man. You've seen the TMZ tour bus. Mm -hmm. I have. Yeah. So the TMZ tour bus. Uh, it, way to start your career at TMZ. It, it goes around, you shows you all the amazing things right. that have happened in the history right. of TMZ, right. and that's what I started on. 